Welcome Sagittarius to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon, intuition bringing messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Crosswatcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome you, my spirit guides and the holy angels, and highest and greatest good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to you all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, Saji, let's go ahead and get into your reading. So we will try and see what is the energy like with your twin flame during the holidays. So let's find out. Spirit, can you please bring forth clear messages in regards to Sagittarius's twin flame? Okay, so um, if you're watching this and you have no idea if you're a twin flame, that's okay. It's just a label. Um, if you're watching it and you feel it resonates, then this reading is for you. So let's see. Spirit, what is the energy or vibration of the person that's coming through? What do we need to know about the person that is connected to Sag and love around the holidays? Let's see. Three messages that want to come through for the person connected to Sag and love. What do we need to know? What is the energy or vibration that wants to come through? Three messages that want to come through, Spirit. Okay, two messages. Thank you. Hmm. We have Enchanted Kiss. And we have Playful. And finally, Celebrations of Love. That's actually really beautiful. So sad, your person wants to kiss you under the mistletoe, so uh, make sure that you have one uh, available somewhere, right? Um, I feel that um, your person wants to celebrate with you. Maybe you're actually celebrating with your twin uh, this holiday season. Um, they definitely are a bit playful. Maybe for some, uh, you guys get to uh, build a snowman. Uh, I see here Snoopy. Um, so maybe uh, for some, you are into Snoopy, um, if you're familiar with that cartoon. So let's go ahead and see what else is going on. So, so far, it's good. Spirit, what is the energy or vibration of the person connected to Sag? in love around the holidays how do they think how do they feel what do they want and what will be the outcome all right so i see here it's the magician and reverse so um, maybe they weren't really being honest with you about how they're feeling okay this person loves you but maybe for some, they're actually in a commitment. Um, the other thing I'm also getting is that they know that you are their divine counterpart. And um, they feel blocked as if um, they can't really open up towards you. But I see that uh, with the Eight of Cups in Reverse, they're thinking about coming back, okay? Um, they are here making a decision. They are trying not to stress about it. They're finally releasing anything that is holding them back because they know that um, they weren't really doing the right things in the past. Um, the other thing I'm also getting is that maybe for some, they are in separation with a divorce. Um, I really feel like or they're uh, finalizing a divorce a 
I'm also getting here that um, they're holding themselves back. So if this is fresh, maybe they're not ready to offer you love because you see here the lovers in reverse and they just don't want to um, really feel inundated with tasks. You know, um, I'm also getting that they're just tired of really being so guarded and defensive now. They keep thinking about you and they are planning. Okay, they're just waiting for the right time. Right at this moment, okay, they're trying to balance themselves and they want to tell you the truth. You may uh, get some sort of communication coming from them that they've been thinking a lot, maybe in the past four days or four weeks, something serious happened to them. So I have a feeling like Sag, um, you've been talking to a particular person and then they went ghost. Okay. And you have no idea why. And then I have a feeling like you're going to hear from them again. Okay. And it's going to be better. It's like, you know, they're going to say, well, I want an enchanted kiss from you, or I want to celebrate with you. So these are things of want. I'm not exactly sure if you guys are actually going to manifest this physically because there's a lot of blockages that I'm seeing here. Okay, and the physical. Now, um, maybe for some of you are dealing with a fire sign, they are wanting to move things forward, but they don't want to make the same mistake twice. And so they really feel that um, they can't really make some, some offer towards you in the physical. Okay, they don't know how to communicate. They're not very clear on how um, they can show up to you in the physical. Again, you know, that's why they, they went cold on you. Maybe they were having financial difficulty. Um, they weren't happy. They weren't really, you know, thinking things clearly. Um, possibly because they're going through a breakup or a divorce. Now, for some, this is about you. Maybe it's been two months since you've actually heard from them. Um, they just needed a time out to really see because they feel like their world um, got turned upside down. And they really feel like they couldn't really move on. They just were not happy. So something must have happened. I really feel like, um, let's just say that your person was dealing with a karmic. Either it was a court situation or they were dealing with a lot of stress. It has nothing to do with you. Okay. Now I have a feeling like they want to celebrate with you and kiss you and be playful. But in the reality, their life is sucking hardcore. Like, um, there's something that's going on in their physical life where it just makes it hard for them to show up, okay, in person, if that makes sense. I'm getting here the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. You know, they're just, I don't know, they're defending themselves about maybe approaching you and also Karma because there's still some sort of like a uh, situation that is going on with them. And for some, it could be about kids, okay. Um, yeah, I feel like they actually went through an ending with a family and they're just being moody right now. So let's go ahead and see what else. Like, I really feel like if once this whole situation blows over, then they would be more in a better mood. But right now, you know, as much as they want to be with you romantically, it's just life isn't allowing them to enjoy themselves. Yeah, I see here the Three of Swords. Yeah, they're really heartbroken that it may take another year for them to approach you so they can have a new beginning. So, I mean, this could be next year. Um, also, how they're feeling is that they want to work on this relationship. They're just waiting for the right time. And um, they're just in their head about the whole situation. Again, your your person's headspace is muddled. It's not very clear. Is you know, it's like they have good intentions, but nothing in their physical life is making it easy for them to enjoy you. Okay, that's what I keep getting. Um, their intention I see is this five of cups in reverse, so it's to heal. And so they can leave the past behind and make peace with that. Okay, and really think about what are they afraid of, you know, um, what is their truth? And the outcome, I mean, they may gain a bit of confidence here to open up and um, they need time. 
Okay. And this is your card. So I really feel like, you know, if this is your twin, they just need a little bit of time, but I'm seeing that it's very soon. Like, they don't need, I don't know if it's going to be another year, maybe for some, yes, but I'm not getting that length of time. I feel like, like in the next three months, that's what it feels like. And even for some, it could be like a month, you know, and some change. It's just like, they're still going through a situation. Um, and if they're freshly like divorced or, you know, a uh, recent separation, there's that, you know, I mean, it's not a very easy energy. I feel like it's going to be baby steps with them. Okay, let's go ahead and see what else is going on. So Spare, what is the Snowflake Oracle messages that want to come through? What are the messages that want to come through? So I really feel like, um, yeah, I mean... There's not much that they can do, but just know that they do love you, okay? They want to spend time with you, but it might be difficult. Look at this, man. I can't make it up. Hold on. Any other messages? So for some, maybe they have a new pet, you know, um... And they have to take care of it, you know, and I feel like it's with the karmic and maybe the kids. Also, we have sabotage, you know, and they, they kind of burnt stuff up, you know. They know that you guys have great chemistry and that they think that you're delicious, but they kind of like ruined it, you know. And maybe it wasn't their own doing. Maybe it was because, you know they're going through an absolute necessary thing that people have to go through when they have like a separation or divorce or maybe uh, parting ways with a family. It's not a very good energy. Okay. That's what I have. So let's see, what is the guidance? Spirit, what is the guidance that you have for Sag? sun moon rising or venus so if this has resonated with you i hope you like share and subscribe and thank you all for watching let's see dearest you we bet you must be so exhausted some days giving as much as you do sharing your energy so beautifully in service to the highest good can leave you feeling depleted like an empty well if it feels as if there's no more water for you the good news is that we have a plan today go Go take a relaxing bath, book a massage, or read a novel. Buy yourself flowers or plant some in your garden. Make time for self-care, not more work on yourself. By tending to yourself now, you're reminded to do more often. And be sure to use a word that might have caused you anxiety in the past, but it is essential for your well-being now. No say it with us. No, thank you. No, I can't. Um, you do not have to explain. Just say no gently, but firmly. Then go for a soak. Life will wait for you to bring back uh, to center and replenish and ready for more adventure. We love you so very much. And guys, you know, that is the very reason why I created those bath bombs. You know, really the intent is to clear your energy, your orc field. The second thing is to practice self-love and self-care. If you don't have the time to pamper yourself, then who is, you know, are you going to wait on your twin flame or a lover to, uh, you know, gift you and surprise you? So don't wait on them because you might be waiting forever. Do it for you so um yeah i have plenty of bath bombs and stuff and all of the bath bombs that i make um have healing properties so uh it's a win-win you know you get to relax you get to look glowy kind of like how i'm looking glowy right now right um and my products will make you feel silky and smooth and um i've had plenty of positive feedback on my bath bombs and so i really hope you guys enjoy especially the holiday ones those are foamy and fun and they smell delicious especially the gingerbread truffle one just saying
But if you want to feel like a snowflake, you know, that one, um, that particular one is light and dainty. And this weekend I'll be making, um, holiday donut bath bombs. So, and also have pumpkin spice latte. So yeah, um, I love making the bath bombs and I love making people feel really good. And if you want to gift any of them to anyone, I feel like it's a really great gift. Um, because I do package them really well if you want to send it to a particular person, um, you know, through mail. So just saying. Um, and if you guys want to uh, purchase any of those, you can go to my Etsy uh, shop, which is scorpionmoonintuition.etsy.com or smibeautyandbath.com. So right now you can get up to 35% off if you go to smibeautyandbath.com. And if you go to Etsy, um, I don't have a sale going on now, but if you uh, spend over $35, then it's free shipping here in the United States. And so you can um, take advantage of that also. All right. So that's what I have, guys. So I really hope that that was helpful. You know, let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys want to book a personal reading with me, all of my readings are on sale also. So now's a good time to check in and see, you know, is there anything else that's going on with your person? I can definitely look into it for you. So I hope that it was helpful and I'll see you in the next video. All right. Bye-bye. Thank you all for watching. Before I let you go, I would like to share with you my latest holiday collection bath bombs, gingerbread bath truffles, pumpkin spice latte, and snowball truffle. These are limited for the holidays, so get it while supplies last. I also have a holiday gift box that has all three bath bombs and a hand towel for only $21. US And don't forget to take your spiritual baths with detox, new, and full moon bath salts. Get it before the new or full moons. Thank you all for supporting Scorpio Moon Intuition. You can find me at scorpiomoonintuition.etsy.com or smibdnbath.com. And of course, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, visit scorpiomoonintuition.com. Thank you all, and I'll see you next time.